Now, you know that stuff could kill him. Yeah. Who are you? I'm gonna keep your mouth shut. Welcome to Second Class Cinema, the show where we watch a B movie and then immediately discuss. I'm Tom. I'm here with Brittany, Eric, and Dennis. What's up? Hey, how are you? Hi. What's up? Hey, guys. How's it going? Not Good. too bad. Excellent. Oh, full just, of shrimp and pizza. Just yeah. ducky. Eating some Papaginos. Yeah, so, just uh, coming off eating some food after watching the movie Party Crasher. 1995 slash 2000s Party Crasher. And we're sure of that. 19... So was it filmed in 95 and released I think it was, in 2000? It was filmed for 1995. Uh, re-edited, re-released, re-scored in 2000 and distributed on the DVD pack in which I purchased and keep that said in mind. movie, Party Crasher. Yeah. It's very crucial to the plot. Yes. <laughs> and this was my definite selection. 100% mine. Outright. No technicalities. Technically, it was your selection. Tom. But technically, let's, you're right. Let's not weasel out of this. <laughs> <laughs> no, this was my selection. And I'll tell you why I picked it. Because, oh, please. Because... Whilst logging the movies that I have, the <laughs> horror movie compilations, I went through and I put all the, the movie names in, and I tried to get all the year for these movies. Couldn't find a year on this movie, so I looked into it, watched the trailer, and said, oh, this I flagged it. I flagged it for a watch. <laughs> oh, you did. I did. I flagged <laughs> oh, it down. Okay. And, and gosh, aren't we lucky. <laughs> Whoa. See, I, I, Tom, you didn't have to go through that whole spiel. Why? I thought you were just going to say, well, I, uh, I looked at my DVD case, I pointed my finger... And I picked this one. Nope. No? You well, a little that. more in depth than that. You went through that whole rigmarole? To the find, whole roll. To find this. Yep, I went through that. And then I was like, we should definitely watch that. And then we watched it. Yeah, it was, And we it definitely shouldn't have. And we finished it, which is good for us. Good <laughs> job, guys. Good job. <laughs> Tell us about um, this movie. Tom. Yeah. What was this movie about? This movie, I'm dying I, to know. I believe this movie was about uh, a young man on his birthday uh, getting drugged by one of his friends. Uh, and then flipping out and killing all of his friends, and then 15 years later, turning into a 60-year-old man eating Big Macs. <laughs> That's exactly right. Who then goes on the weakest killing spree. <laughs> it yeah. is if you even want to call it that, because he, he doesn't even kill half the people he goes after. He sedates like a good four of them. And he just eats a lot of Big Macs and <laughs> oh my god, yeah, daydreams a lot and pumps iron. Nothing and like, fucking happened in this movie. Yeah, it was a, <laughs> it was a slog. Well, let's be honest with it. This yeah. was this was and a slog in the most literal definition. <laughs> What's the literal definition of slog? When you go <laughs> slow, long over g, g, g word. When you go <laughs> slow, slog, long, og. <laughs> dude, that definition was a slog. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So long. <laughs> Take it easy. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, so uh, this movie failed yeah. in actual good killing scenes. And that could have been the one thing that it had going for it. And yet, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Every single time somebody died, it was a cutaway with a little bit of blood splatter. Moving on. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think in the um, the cold, well, not the cold open, but the opening scene. <laughs> the 20-minute open. Yeah, the 20-minute opening before the actual plot starts. Uh, I thought some of those killing scenes were good. They were done from they, like, the first person. Yeah. They were interesting. Um, they looked realistic <laughs> enough. Yeah, there was a couple of cool elements to it in some of the early kills that I, I thought were kind of promising in the early stage. I was like, oh, you know, it could build to something actually kind of decent. Let's uh, let's wait it out a little bit. Yeah, I totally I, agree. I think that's why we sat this thing through this thing for so long is that it at least showed some promise. I wasn't expecting it to be a good movie. But it just ended up never paying off. Yeah. It set us up for expectations that just didn't arrive. I wrote down that death scenes were not awful, but way too much slow-mo. <laughs> Did anyone else not despise that? It's yeah, that was annoying. Every single death scene was done in slow motion. Yeah. And, yeah. and there was roughly 13 of them. And it made this movie <laughs> like 40 minutes longer than it needed to be. And yeah. it's, it's not like they overcrank the camera. They literally just press the button on the camera that <laughs> removes frames so it looks like it's slow motion. You made uh. that like 70s slow mo sound like. <laughs> 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 I kind of like that woman sound because then you knew everybody was gonna die. It'd be a quick, <laughs> it'd be a quick intro like, "Honey, did you get the peanut butter?" And then oh no, but more, uh, it'd, it'd be like more like <laughs> oh, oh god, the audio. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing we forgot to talk about. You couldn't understand forget. a fucking word in this movie. 
<laughs> this camera had one microphone. That was my main gripe. <laughs> yeah, it was we didn't understand a word of dialogue. Terrible sound. Terrible, terrible, terrible sound. There was an microphone. I wrote it in eighty six font F- in my notebook. Facing in back of the crew. <laughs> yeah, they were miking like the floor. They're miking people's knees. And unless you were right up and your stupid face was in the camera, you sounded like you were about three miles away. <laughs> yeah, Tom, let's let's recreate that scene right now. Okay, here we go. Knock. What are they saying? <laughs> <laughs> that was the perfect impression of me. <laughs> uh, yeah, we had to like blast the volume and it still just did not help. Yeah, that was a uh, technical fail. Uh, and, you know, even though with, with the death scenes, uh, they did like a negative shot. You know, they kind of back from hell did a little bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Once. <laughs> <laughs> like, they maybe thought of, like, he figured that filter out on his camera, like, at the very end of the shooting. Yeah. He's like, oh, man, now I figured this out. Oh, I can't go back and shoot all of this. He pressed all the preset filters on his camera at least once during the shooting. Of this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Surprised it wasn't a star wipe. <laughs> oh, that would have been excellent. Or like one of those, like, um, what, the, the mosaic wipes. <laughs> yeah, this movie blew its load on, like, a limo in the first five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and then and everything of- else was just so cheaply done. <laughs> I was going to say, like, it's weird. This The first 20 minutes of this movie are, like, the last 20 minutes of a 1980s slasher movie. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And, like, I think that's why I got my hopes up, because it started with the good part, and then the rest of it was the bad part. Yeah, <laughs> like, I want to be like, did they make, did they have like an entirely different movie in mind to make? And then they like blew their budget or something or something didn't pan out. I think they totally did because there was that one point where they're having like the big high school reunion or whatever it was. And they wheel in fucking mankind. <laughs> <laughs> and I called it right there. I'm like, oh, I get it. He's been in the mental hospital. Now he's finally out. and He's he's a hero. They're gonna oh they're gonna honor him, but they're gonna pull a carry and they're gonna dump the bucket of blood. He's gonna go ape shit and kill everybody. Sure enough, no, they just it's kind of a, another wasted scene. And yeah, and, oh, <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. Um, what else bothered me about this movie was that it the the opening scene took place I guess in 1980. Yeah, I, think I guess we, it we was did the math and it was like nineteen eighty. It was nineteen eighty because they were the class of nineteen eighty. Right. Yeah. So they it did not do a good job of pretending it was in nineteen eighty. And then it, the movie jumps had fifteen years. Fifteen years. Where no one's aged a day. <laughs> except <laughs> except for our main character, who's aged forty years. <laughs> and now he's like a weird crossbreed between mankind kind and Hannibal, Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who just wants to just mow Big Macs in the yeah. insane asylum. <laughs> Eight to be exact. That's a cr- that's a key character uh element. He loves Big Macs. <laughs> Hello, Ronald. That was actually. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. <laughs> it's, it's the best I part of the some movie. McNuggets with some fries. <laughs> Put the burgers in the basket. Oh, gosh, <laughs> awful. Yeah. Overall, it rubs the ketchup on its skin. Those <laughs> <laughs> again. Rubble, 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 rubble. <laughs> so overall, this movie was pretty poor. Pretty uh, poor. Pretty, pretty bad. <laughs> pretty uh, <laughs> Let's go ahead and just talk about some more bad parts. Now, now that we're <laughs> now that we're on topic, because I got one. If you guys want to talk about it, hey, sure. let's hear it. Oh, let's hear it. Our heavy metal friend, murderer, killer, oh, long haired oh, pal, yeah. oh, fucking metal Dave. <laughs> this guy's the worst finger waved. That's it. Like mullet yeah. metal that's hair your, I've ever seen. That's your worst part. Just him. No, just that's him in just general. Bad part in general. Well, the <laughs> fact that he was like. He drugged him. He was the guy who put the drug in his yeah, uh, our so, birthday boy's drink. Yeah, so he put PCP and LSD, I think is the idea, inside of his drink. You and me. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was written in <laughs> poo everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> there were, now there, there are so many uh, piece, pieces of this I'm, re- I'm remembering now, but if we're on Metal Dave. We're on Metal I, Dave. I love his, uh, 15 years later, I love his office. <laughs> <laughs> in his parents' house. In his parents' basement. It's while, in his mom's pantry, actually. While, yeah, you while his mom is dishes. doing dishes in the corner. Uh, <laughs> while investigators are interrogating him, <laughs> it's like what a little kid would think. Like I'm gonna play businessman. Too. Yeah, <laughs> there was I'm just like tie a, my hair in a ponytail. <laughs> there was a box in the background with just the word budget written on it, like a five year old did it. <laughs> oh, this is the box with all the budget in it. <laughs> <laughs> what an asshole! You just open the box and there's a piggy bank in there. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the budget for this film. <laughs> yeah, I totally hooked up like a car battery. 
Yeah, to the to wheel- that guy's wheelchair. Oh yeah, that's one of the pranks <laughs> in the reunion that, or whatever. That's the carry part I was talking about because they go to the reunion and they wheel in fucking mankind to his <laughs> wheelchair, <laughs> and uh, Metal Dave hooks up a car battery or something. I don't know what he does. He just connects. yeah. He hooks up like a well. Yeah, they never show a car. No, they never. A, they just show. Outlet. Yeah, <laughs> they, they show he the, plugs the, in an extension cord into itself, <laughs> and he puts uh, jumper cables on his car connect <laughs> on, on his, his wheelchair. wheelchair connected to nothing. And then poor old Mick is electrocuted. And yeah, then he freaks out. He's just like seizuring. Yeah, it, it was not well done in any aspect. But are there any saving graces to this movie? Was there anything that we can take away that's a positive note? It was a cute dog. <laughs> oh, that was <laughs> right. Cute dog. I don't remember a dog. You the little Rottweiler the that the oh, reason he was yeah, getting yeah, he the was award. Cute. They had the snuggle fight yep, in, the, uh, <laughs> in the middle of the baseball yeah. field. I did not S- sleep through this movie. Oh, that's oh, great news. This movie was exciting enough for Brittany. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a really good point. You didn't fall asleep for this. It it's, must have been riveting. It's a good job. It is but anyway, a the, testament to this movie. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the dog in this movie. Um, so I guess what happened was he was being escorted out of the mental institution. Yep. yep. And he saw a Rottweiler chasing some children. This is our main character, our killer, and goes and saves the kids from the Rottweiler. But it's it's very clearly <laughs> someone's home dog. Some, somebody's pet. Someone's pet that they're just playing with. Yeah. And the best part about the scene is when it's edited, <laughs> they just, they use the same piece of footage and they just mirror it. Yep. And then cut back and forth from one camera, quote unquote, to the other. Yeah. And, and oh he's clearly just playing with this dog. <laughs> <laughs> and then he wound up all blast. bloody. You gotta work with what you got, right? <laughs> and uh, speaking of quote unquote, whoever the editor for the newspapers were <laughs> in, this, uh, <laughs> in this movie was a real jerk. Absolutely. <laughs> Every, every subtitle of uh, of the headline was in quotations, like somebody kind of sarcastically going, released from the mental institution. <laughs> Crasher lives with parents. <laughs> Goes home to parents' house. <laughs> like script is a pile of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like script is a pile of garbage. Pile of garbage. <laughs> I is know, a quote sorry. unquote town hero. Yeah. The podcast is driving this into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> this is my quote. <laughs> <laughs> Best All right. Enough. Oh, no, no, oh, enough, dude. We're done. Oh. We're done with the quote. Podcaster but, has had enough. But I've had oh, I had one more. Please, no, Eric already did one more and it wasn't worth it. But I had a better one. <sighs> Eric does one more. Was it worth it? <laughs> Alright, we're off the rails. Was it worth it? <laughs> <laughs> all right we're back all right we're back sorry dennis i can't squeak you in oh i'm sorry um any other any other slight positives to this movie chip dog <laughs> no chip dog was not in this movie there was another good dog but chip it was not chip dog saved the- <laughs> what if the rottweiler comes running out he's just covered in chips close they oh got a, they got a dog but there was no chip dog i was missing that chip dog oh yeah chip dog would have been a nice little touch in here i'll be honest oh chip dog where have you gone so <laughs> so, so we're talking about redeeming factors and not favorite moments right now right? redeeming qualities of uh, this movie yeah, yeah. there's not many nothing well, let's move on well let, uh, let's move on to risks <laughs> really quick to another movie <laughs> <laughs> the next picture guys the next episode you've been listening to second class cinema. <laughs> No, um, the risks, they set up the potential for a lot of risks. They really do, yeah. And then just let them fall completely flat. Mm -hmm. Like, they just didn't have the balls, which I think may have been due to the re-edit that may have occurred in between its original release and this this DVD re-release. This fucking re-edit you keep talking about, like, it actually happened. Hey, man, that's just what I read. Maybe it just got re-released. I don't think it got re-edited. I think it's always been this pile of shit. You don't know that. What what evidence do you have, man? I've got a YouTube video telling me this. (laughs) What do you have? I got a a movie in my brain that I can't get out. (laughs) All thanks to me. Really? I forgot about a lot of this. All thanks to Tom. Dennis had to put on a helmet before he could talk about this movie. (laughs) He did, and then he had to wear a crown. Yeah, and then he had to wear a crown. (laughs) <laughs> to feel on his uh, upper echelon, but uh, that's but, that's it about risk. Unless you have anything else, Eric. yeah. Like like you said, it sets up risk, and then it never takes them. <laughs> yeah. Like for example, uh, the killer breaks into one of his classmates' house, and um, their kid like runs away and finds a handgun and is about to shoot the killer. <laughs> Who knows? He got it from the little door <laughs> flap. From, yeah, dad's secret slap. Dad's, oh. secret, dad's secret wooden slat with a gun in it. <laughs> but you know, like, like, you keep those? That's that's a huge risk in a movie. Right like, that's not something. Yeah. You would really see is like a kid shooting an adult. 
And like they even go through the trouble of showing him like loading the gun and pointing at he does. Like, the killer. And then like they cut off frame and like use your gunshots. So I'm like, good thing you on. didn't see. It. <laughs> well, and you know what was great? He shot the gun twice, and then we cut back inside. And he's got three bullet holes. You know, one of those was uh, pasta mark. Oh, that was <laughs> spilled pasta on his shirt. <laughs> oh, they had dinner right before. He yeah. must have spilled some craft service spaghetti on him. Just jelly donut. Oh, is I was going to say donut? a very ketchupy pickle from his Big Macs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. It could have been a stain from his Big Macs. Uh, but let's move on to favorite parts. Let's go around and something that even made you laugh that was even noteworthy. You know, something that some poor person. What are they going to like? Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so Mankind slash Hannibal Lecter is just staring out of his cell window at the street. And then a van pulls up. <laughs> <laughs> and on the side of the van in like green paint is written the word freak. And then it shows the guy in the driver's seat and he just like flips off mankind and then slowly drives away. <laughs> <laughs> it was really, really the only thing I liked about this entire movie. Yeah, the hate came from nowhere as far as I was concerned. I don't know why. He just he gives like the shittiest finger and he looks like a fat Michael Ian Black <laughs> with long <laughs> shitty hair. <laughs> yeah, he looks like the guy from Creep Show too, like the Indian guy, Chief Woodenhead. Who the looks, guy with the long hair. Yeah. He looks, oh. He looks kind of like him if that guy was like hideous and awful. No. <laughs> oh. Good one. Mm. All right, Dennis, what's your favorite part? <laughs> no, I'll go last. No, you're going right now. No, no, you're going right now. Jesus Christ. What's Jones. your favorite part, You've Dennis? You've gotten to go last several times now. <laughs> Is last like the coveted spot? Is it really? Oh. <laughs> well, keep talking while I think of a favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> I had to look down at my notes. I was like, oh, oh shit. did you really? I don't like anything. Mm. Oh, Gub. It's, oh, oh, how do we forget about that? Oh, uh, that's right. <laughs> when uh, when one of the people who, who witnessed and survived the original murders goes back to the scene of the crime <laughs> in the beginning of this movie, he opens the door and sees uh, his bloody friends all over the place, rushes out of the door, <laughs> and just starts to, like, fake hack up uh, nothing. And he goes, oh, oh gub! <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what got me on board for this movie. That yeah. line, I was, I was so ready for what was going to happen after that. Is that your favorite part? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part was the Big Macs part. Through and through the best part of that movie. I was so delighted <laughs> watching it. I was like, oh my God. Did he write down that he wanted eight Big Macs? He wrote down the word Big Macs. And then on the next page, he lifted it up to the camera and it wrote eight. <laughs> and then in his room appear eight Big Macs <laughs> with only like three large fries, it looked like. I don't oh, think only three? Yeah. And then, and, then it, <laughs> and then he had like one Peasant. medium soft drink. <laughs> like, what a loser. Right? He's like barely eating the hamburgers. He's like. <laughs> I think the craft service is going to only afford one hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> and he's asked McDonald's for the boxes. <laughs> he's like just holding the burger in front of his face and making chewing faces. Yeah, that part was amazing. <laughs> that was my favorite part, too. What have you got, Eric? Ooh, you know what? For a movie I didn't like, I have a lot of favorite parts written down here. <laughs> All right, let's hear So we've, ar we've already gone over the wildlife. wildlife, the wildlife, the wildlife. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, stroke it out! <laughs> Eric, are you okay? Somebody help him! <laughs> we've already <laughs> gone. All right, we've gone through the Rottweiler fight. Yeah, we went over do, the Rottweiler fight. Do you guys smell burnt hair? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I like the deputy Eric Estrada. <laughs> it was like this the, one of the one, one of the sheriffs was like this old looking like extra swarthy guy with like black hair that was obviously fake, and he looked kind of like Eric Estrada, and he had a belt that was just made out of bullets. It was <laughs> fucking amazing. Yeah, that was pretty great. He was like a federale, but just not a freelance uh, federale. Yeah, dressed in like normal garb except for his bullet belt. <laughs> Why? Anything else you got written down? No, we covered most of the rest of the things. I yep. Okay, so... I really like the Rottweiler fight. The Rottweiler fight. Oh, just like how everyone spoke in the movie. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Terrible sound. All right, yeah, the sound oh, was really bad. Um, The guy that uh looked like an accountant, and we said, hey, that guy looks like an accountant. And, and then it turned out he, he was, was an, accountant. an accountant. He was wearing suspenders. He, was he had a tie down to his groin. <laughs> <laughs> he, he showed up for three minutes just to say, well, I'm getting into accounting. <laughs> yeah, we don't know why he was in that scene <laughs> he literally explained his life story to this guy and walked away Our, then they said yeah you gotta go <laughs> he left yeah the party crasher signed some sort of clipboard yeah so i don't know what happened there it was a big mac contract <laughs> <laughs> life supply lifetime supply big macs <laughs> for no reason besides you're awesome you saved us from this dog lifetime supply big mac play with this dog get big macs <laughs> all right so let's rate it 
Dennis, since you're so keen on this movie, why don't you rate it first? Oh, man, I loved it so much. I got to give it. You know what? I'm going to give it a fuck off. Really? Oh, yeah. I'm going to fuck off? take a stretch here and uh, get, go with a fuck off. All right. Why do you give it a fuck off? Oh, it was garbage. <laughs> you can't. I mean, there was. <laughs> All right. Moving on. All right. Everyone's stroking today. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> No, there wasn't enough to keep me interested. There was some funny bits, like we mentioned, but <clears throat> fuck off. This, yeah. It was just, they no risks, no nothing. Yeah. It's just everything they could have done, they pushed out. Mm -hmm. And even if, like we said, there was a part where we're like, uh, maybe this could be a character piece. Oh. And if it, if it did go that route, I would have given it a much harder, like, whoa. Yeah. I would have been mad, but they kind of brought it back, but they didn't go far enough. Yeah, they didn't so successfully just, bring it back. I'm indifferent. It's, eh, go fuck yourself, this stupid. Boy. All right. <laughs> All right. It's a combination of those things. Um, uh, Brittany, what do you give it? I don't know if I want to give it a fuck you or a fuck off. Really? I think I want to give it a fuck you. Oh, it all right. It was just like a complete waste of time. There were two maybe instances of like comedic absurdity, but beyond that, it was just plot was weak, acting was weak, technical everything was weak, mm -hmm. just weak, weak, weak sauce. Yeah, it was a very weak movie. Um, you know, I'm going to rate this movie right now, and I am going to give this movie... A fuck off. Yay. <laughs> and it's because of the exact reasons discussed here. And uh, when I had watched the trailer, it seemed like it was going to be better. I was I, There was more promise in the trailer than there was in the movie. Um, like you said, there was a couple of parts that would be kind of interesting to watch, but not worth the time you put in it to just go through uh, everything. So yeah. I would give it a fuck off. What about you, Eric? Uh, I'm going to probably... Yeah, I'm going to say fuck you. Ooh. Um, even though there were a lot of parts of this that I, I would say would be my favorite parts and <laughs> they were certainly entertaining. Um, what we didn't really cover is that a lot of this movie is just really boring dialogue. Like yeah. These two detectives trying to figure out what's going on and you don't really care. Um, it, 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 it looks like, and it feels like a Sega CD game where you're trying to solve a murder. Uh. It's, it's really boring and poorly acted and there's not a lot to keep you entertained other than the four or five fucking hilarious parts that came through it but it doesn't really pay off in the end so no eh. it doesn't and i think the fact that it sets up expectations that don't pay off yeah that's really the biggest sin that you can commit like if it's extra annoying. yeah it's extra because i'm like oh this is gonna be good and then it never is and then i'm just sitting here like mm, we'll get to eat shrimp i guess yeah <laughs> especially oh, yeah. when you think it might redeem itself and then yeah because yeah. like with society and with destroyer like, our only complaint was that it was just, like, the back half was loaded. Mm -hmm. Not enough spread throughout. But with this movie, there was, nothing was loaded. The front end was loaded for a little while. Yep. More, like, loaded with potential. Like, ooh, let's see where this goes. Right. It was, like, a good potential slasher scene. I was yeah. like, okay, they can do this correctly, so maybe they'll do something correctly later. And they never did. Unless yeah, they just kept waiting for this guy to, like, hulk out and start murdering everybody. Yeah. yeah. He That's did eventually, but it was just shown not, in a terrible fashion. Yeah, it was bad. Back to his point about dropping off before like you can really get to something good. That's why I can't give it a fuck you. I just didn't feel strongly enough about it. Yeah. And I think that's the worst you can feel about these type of movies. Either it's so funny, you have to watch it, or it's just it's so bad, it makes you angry. Yeah. And you have <laughs> to give it like a fuck you. But the worst possible feeling you can have is middle of the road. Like, mm. uh, fuck off. Yeah. Yeah, I can definitely see that. Any final thoughts on this movie before we move on? Oh, God. To the end. Oh, Gub. Oh, Gub. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We, I have another favorite part. I'm sorry. I All right, no, squeak it, it in. Uh, when the killer is going on his final spree at the end of the movie and he mm. kills a metal guy, he tears out his heart, but it looks... Oh, more, that's right. It looks more <laughs> like a giant tongue. Uh, it's like a liver tongue. <laughs> it's still beating liver it's, tongue. It's <laughs> just like flapping. Yeah, it was like a pulsating cow tongue. Yeah, his forever pulsating pelvis. His still beating Pancreas. flank steak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that part was really gross and no, terrible. <laughs> no, as, as in, it was a gross display. Uh, all right, so that's it. No one can talk anymore. <laughs> Not about Podcast this anyway. tells everyone to shut up. <laughs> What? <laughs> Don't, what are you looking at me? Oh, for? I thought you squeaked in there. All right. I'm Dennis wonders why people are looking at him. <laughs> I'm afraid Tom to talk. says we're done. We are done. <laughs> You've been listening to Second Class Cinema. We watched Party Crash cinema. tonight. Cinema. Yeah. Second Class <laughs> yeah. Cinema. We're cinema. cinema. We watched Party Crasher <laughs> from 2000. I purchased it on a DVD multi pack with like 20 other 
or twenty movies on it. So oh, good for luck. probably like four ninety nine. Yeah, it was like two ninety nine more than likely. So let's do the math. This movie cost you about twenty cents. Yeah, was, probably. Okay. I want it back. <laughs> Can I just return this part of the disc? <laughs> Can I like just break like the disc? Slicing. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. I don't want this movie anymore. I'll trade this in as party crasher. I'll take the twenty cents. Thank you. Um, you can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash second class cinema or email us at second class cinema at gmail.com. We're on Twitter at two, the number two N D class podcast <laughs> on Twitter. Yeah. Second class podcast. Uh, we're on YouTube and Stitcher and iTunes and all that stuff. So the rate Instagrams. us. Yeah. Instagram as well. Anywhere else, guys. GeoCities. For GeoCities. <laughs> AOL homepage, friends. AOL, that's right. We, get, we got the under construction banners and everything. <laughs> we have a, a skull smoking a cigarette. <laughs> I was, was going to say, don't, don't forget to, to check out our spinning skulls. Yeah. And sign our guest book. <laughs> Join my web. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, God. What kind of sick asshole would do something like that? Good night, everybody.